what you just witnessed here would be a career ender for most. But instead, more than likely, no disciplinary action will take place. However, it falls within the elements of 750.88 of the Michigan Code. If you take something by force, it falls within a robbery statute. And by force, it has to be done against a person. Taking a bicycle from someone's front yard without them knowing does not rise to this level. For reference, I put a link in the description so that you can review each and every state and what their code consists of. And as mentioned, Florida has a very similar statute, just like Michigan. Let's get to the video. Don't forget to give these two a subscribe here. Their links are in the description. Now these two went over to Grand Rapids Courthouse to check things out here, where they were checking out some of the employees doing their work here. Many times you'll notice people playing on Facebook, on Amazon, searching for things that are absolutely not work related. Oh my goodness guys, I hit a panic button. <laughs> Come back. <laughs> uh, no. It's so cute. I can't believe you, you see that little panic button down there, guys. Yeah, he did. Now the man summoned a woman, and she apparently maybe a supervisor comes in and closes the blinds. Problem solved. He's hiding in a dark room. He's such a brave, brave man. I'm not talking to you. Yeah. He held up a sign that he's on break. See that sign in front of him? It says break. So he's on break. That's why he was Google. Look at all that personal information laying right there. Notice of court appointed counsel for operating oh, while intoxicated. Mean, More than likely next week, you're going to see these windows tented and or blinds up there. That will be the resolution for this. More tax dollars spent because it is difficult to get public records requests from them. They hide things. And the only way to get real information on what they're doing is to see what they're doing. <laughs> she just realized that was recording, Doug. That's hilarious. This one over here is oblivious with her headphones on. Oh, there she goes. Uh, there's one over there. I don't know what she's doing. Right, there oh, she's she going to take off, too. Oh, yep. Yeah. They just told her, man, hey, let's go. Cameras show up. Everybody just, man, these cameras got some power, bro. Whatever I want. Well, you What's your name and badge number? Oh, that's Rick Coxon. Coxon, your gym. What? You know, MCR 8.115, the Michigan Supreme Court said I can go in the publicly accessible areas of the courthouse and record. Are you aware of that? Read the Michigan Supreme Court case ruling. What's your name and badge number? I'm not angry. I'm not angry at all. Why are you yelling at me? I'm not yelling. What's wrong with you? I have a loud voice. Okay. I have a quiet voice. You keep your voice down. I know. I'm not going to keep my voice down. We'll talk like I normally. Now, what led up to this, where the part that was muted, was that the Deputy Atkinson did not like the way that the volume or the tone of freaking media's voice was. He told him, don't talk to me like that. Freaking media stated an expletive, which was muted out, and then the deputy lost control. So he snatched his camera, losing control. There were no threats made in the video. You can watch it over on his channel in full if you'd like to. Freaking media is repeatedly demanding that his property be returned back to him. It's been handed off to the deputy that you see holding it here, while this other deputy is guiding Deputy Atkinson up the stairs here to try and talk to him about this incident. In the background, you hear something about lawful reason. I can't make out what is said. I've watched both videos that freaking media has posted, but I cannot determine what has been said. He gets his property back, heads over to the other sheriff's office there in order to file a complaint. We'll take a look at this later to see what the outcome was. I'd love to hear your opinion on this. Let me know what you think in the comments. Those resources are down in the description below. Now, you know I'm very calm when I go out and film and audit, but I don't know how I would handle this situation when I'm being robbed. Let me know your thoughts.